up, my happy fam? Sorry I'm so late to the freaking game. It has been a heck of a flippin' month. But, your girl is back, and I have a series that I would like to introduce to you, but before I begin that, guys, I just want you to know that there are current events going on right now that you should be aware of. Quickly say hi. Hi, happy face. Go play. There are events that you should be aware of that were spoken of in the Bible, specifically the kings of the east are starting to come together. But, um, we can look more into that some other time. Anywho, let me ask you an easy question. Do you want to be great? Everyone wants to be able to say they're the best at something. So we set out to achieve something, and sometimes we achieve our goal, sometimes not. Hold on one second. I've got to solve this case, and I know just, just how to get into that movie lock. Okay. Hey, Daddy, All right. look what I snuck for my old man. Dad, Zeus, Nancy, he'll be sometimes we achieve our goals, sometimes we don't. But what if you wanted to be the greatest in the kingdom of God? Well, first off, you'd be in great company. Pardon the pun. The apostles argued amongst themselves often who would be the greatest. So when Jesus finally answered them on who would be the greatest, they were dumbstruck. Why? Because he put a child in the middle of their group and said, anyone who wants to be great in the kingdom of God must be like this child. But what does that mean? Well, let's go a little further in scripture and look at the traits of children from God's perspective. Little children are naturally open and loving. They are not, they do not hold grudges, nor do they have prejudices. Their yes means yes, and their no means no. When others celebrate, they celebrate with them. When they see anyone cry, they comfort them. They believe that, they believe what they are told by their parents, and they obey their, them unquestioningly. They are also eager to do things to please their parents, and love their parents. So how does that translate in how we should live our lives or strive to live? Well, as a, we as adults have a tendency to think that traits like these denote weakness. We know that the weak are often overrun by the strong, but just like a parent who is devoted to caring for their child, God protects us from the things meant to destroy us. He also uses bad things to bring good things into being. The point is, if we walk in obedience to Him, trusting that even in a valley of death, nothing can harm us because He surrounds us and protects us, ignoring the negative and hateful people, we too will be great in the kingdom of God. If today you desire to have a name of renown in heaven, then join me in prayer now. Pray silently to God for a moment and thank him specifically for knowing your heart and leading you to this moment and for all the things he has already done in your life i.e. the breath in your lungs or the food that you eat Fighting a red menace here. We've got no time for emotion. What did you do during the war, Gordon? I fought fascism. In Germany? Italy? Now let's ask him together to lead you in the next steps to finding your purpose. Your purpose is what will make you great, not your potential. So let's also pray that he helps you to identify and ignore anything that is not in God's plan for you. Lord Jesus, we ask you please to have your hand of guidance and protection upon each and every person who views this stream, whether it be live or after the fact. 
Lord, they are drawn to you today in search of something that they cannot find in the world. They are searching for their purpose. The world has given them plenty of potential, but they seek something deeper and more meaningful, something more focused. Lord, they seek today to know what it is that you have for their lives. Lord, open up their understanding and give them discernment. I pray in the name of Jesus that they would be that they would be aware this week of what it is that you have for them. Reveal to them their purpose and lead and guide them in Jesus' precious name as they seek you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, fam. So I've got a whole bunch of these and this is part of the sermon series that I'm doing called um, Who's Ready for Greatness? So I do hope that you'll join me for that. Ugh. I didn't realize this was on in the background. My bad, fam. I don't know why that thing keeps turning on. I turn the music on and it's like the TV comes on after. It's so weird. Alrighty then. I don't think I've gotten to the casino yet today, so... And I swear to biscuits, it's him. Oh, fam, the moment I turn it on, the moment, the moment I turn on to stream. Always when I get ready to stream. Well, a little late for that. I already started. I guess, fam, I'll see you later. Unforgettable experience. The action is hot at our table games. Live life to the limit. Play around. I said I'll be back later. They know. No, it's good. I'll see you in the field.